Hey guys, um, so I've got a very simple video for you guys today, um, but hopefully it should be pretty helpful, especially if you're just setting up a computer. Basically, I have created a list of applications that you, that you can download with just one click, courtesy of, I know I'm going to say this wrong, Ninite. Guys, I'm, I'm not going to say that anymore in the video. You guys know what I'm talking about. There's this great website that I just said the name of, <laughs> um, and they have a, basically, you can go ahead and download um, all kinds of things, for example, web browsers, um, you know, different music players, I mean, guys, all kinds of stuff. Um, so basically, guys, what I've done is um, I've went through, uh, went through all of these, picked out some of my favorites, I've made you guys two presets. Um, now, this is good for a couple of different reasons. Um, the main thing is, is that when you first set up your computer, um, you know, obviously, you know, it could be any kind of Windows computer, XP, Vista, or Windows 7. But, you know, as soon as you install your operating system, you know that you're going to have to wait and wait and wait. You have to go to Google.com, go and load Chrome, you go to Apple, you go to this, that, this, that. Well, guys, with one click, you can go ahead and download everything. Um, and on top of that, if you're already using a computer and you just want some more programs, go ahead, guys. There will be two links in the description. Um, let me go ahead and watch the video. I'll show you guys all what I'm talking about. And then if you don't have any of these apps, you want to try them out or whatever, go ahead and come down and you'll be uh, redirected to this page where you can go ahead and mix and match whatever you like. Um, so anyway, guys, I'm going to start with the basics. Um, this is all, uh, I made both these lists. This is just kind of my opinion. Um, but this is just kind of the basic pack if you don't want to get a bunch of stuff. Um, so the web browser is Chrome. I love Chrome, guys. It's probably the best web browser around right now. I mean, I know a lot of you guys use Firefox, and Firefox is decent, but really, guys, Chrome does almost everything Firefox does just better lately. So I recommend if you know if you're maybe still using Firefox or Internet Explorer or something, you might want to go ahead and switch to Chrome, especially if you're setting it up on a new computer. But you know that's just my opinion. Um, in the messaging, I don't have anything. This is a basic thing, so I'm not. You know, no Skype or anything. Um, of course, the guys you can add it if you want, but I'm I'm leaving it out for this uh, for this basic pack. Now we come down to media. Um, I've only selected two here. I've got you guys iTunes. iTunes. I mean, it's not the greatest, but guys, it's really hard to you know not use iTunes between you know the you know having to hook up your iPods and iPhones and iPads. Um, and you know, having to do you know buy music from the iTunes store, a lot of that stuff. iTunes is kind of a necessity. Of course, you feel free to you know to unselect it if you like. Also, VLC, guys. If you don't know what VLC is, it is a fantastic uh, audio video player. Guys, literally any kind of format, any kind of codec. Guys, I've never really been able to find something that won't play in VLC. I mean, you can, but it's very very difficult. Highly recommend it, guys. It might not have the best UI ever. But it's really, really handy. So I definitely recommend you guys go ahead and download that. Um, I have Picasa. Picasa is a really good Google program that allows you to go ahead. Um, it tags your photos. Um, you can do your faces, and it pulls them all in. You can do some really slight editing, but for this basic pack, I didn't. I didn't go ahead and do anything like GIMP or whatever. So you might want to go ahead and do that. Um, Adobe Reader. I've got next. Adobe Reader, guys. I'm not a huge fan of it. But a lot of websites and stuff rely on it, and it's hard to you know get around the internet without using Adobe Reader for this and that. So I went ahead and included it. Next, guys, I have security. Now, actually, I get this question asked quite a bit: What kind of security should I use, guys? Microsoft Security Essentials is literally the only thing I run on my Windows 7 computer. I do have SpyBot that you know I run every month or so. But guys, Security Essentials is a fantastic program. It's by Microsoft. It's updated frequently, and it really should keep you your computer computer nice and clean and everything. Next I have run times and I'm going to go into this. You have Flash, Java, Silverlight. You know, this is just kind of standard stuff, you know, that you'll you'll need eventually, so I want to go ahead and get it downloaded. The last thing I have here guys, I skipped a lot of this stuff because this is the basic pack after all, is CCleaner. CCleaner is a fantastic utility, one of my favorites, always the first thing I download when I get my computer, get get a new computer or reset it or for whatever reason. Um, guys, it will basically wipe out all kinds of junk on your computer. It will clean out all kinds of, you know, um, you know, temporary files. Um, you can even go through your registry. Um, you can check, uh, you can deselect uh, programs to automatically open. Tons and tons of great stuff, guys. I highly recommend it. Um, so, once, if you if you like this list, go ahead and hit the basic link in the description below. Um, it will take you to this page and where you can go ahead and you know select some. Um, maybe you want Image Burn. We can go ahead and just click it, and that will be added. 
can go ahead and deselect it. But you can go ahead and, guys, if you have some of these, just go ahead and unselect them. And then go ahead and all you have to do is hit Get Installer. Um, just to, it'll automatically download as soon as you hit that button and then you go ahead just just run it and it will go ahead and download and install all the apps that you choose okay so guys now the next one is for advanced um, now guys this one is more of a full feature this is kinda of more of what I run although you, you still can't get all your programs but you can get a good amount of them so guys for the advanced one um, I added a couple more web browsers I added Opera 10.5 fantastic browser it's really really good and Firefox um, now guys you might be wondering including Internet Explorer you'll be having four browsers well I actually run pretty much as many browsers as I can um, I do that mostly for checking websites for example Zidric I have to you know run in different websites to test and plus you know sometimes it's nice to have you know different browsers I, I do browser comparisons and stuff so guys I added these three if you want feel free to just stick with Chrome just stick with Firefox um, you know you can guys can mix and match that however you like next in messaging I added two more Skype Skype is fantastic, guys. I mean, you can go ahead and free chat. You can chat to your friends, voice or video, um, if they have Skype. Um, you can also, you know, talk on, you know, different play things such as like Verizon phones are starting to get Skype, as well as uh, you know the iPhone. You obviously can get Skype on. So Skype is great. Um, Pigeon. Pigeon is a multi instant message client. Um, Pigeon's pretty good for you know if you want to chat to your friends or um, and you can go ahead and do that in a ton of different kinds. So instead of you know having a bunch of tabs up on your computer or something, run Pigeon, load up all your information, and you can chat with all your friends everywhere. Um, now, media I only added one thing, and it's Audacity. Audacity is a pretty good audio editor. Um, again, guys, the UI is not fantastic in Audacity, um, but I do use it occasionally when I need to edit the audio in my videos. Um, guys, this one's kind of this one is de definitely very optional. If you don't ever really need this, I would you know, go ahead just unselect it. Um, but you know, I imagine some of you will, so that's why I added it. Next, we have in imaging we have GIMP. That's the only one I added, and GIMP, guys. Literally, it is open source Photoshop. Um, now, guys, I've used GIMP for a very long time, probably a couple years, and I'm still not very good at it. I mean, I'll tell you that I'm not. I, I, I'm kind of a noob still in GIMP, um, but guys, it is fantastic. I love it. Um, it's just as good as Photoshop, in my opinion. I mean, it's not. There's a couple things it lacks, but literally, it's GIMP is fantastic. The only problem is it just has doesn't have that great of loading times, but it's not a big deal. So, guys, definitely recommend if you need an image editor. It's really hardcore and will be able to do all kinds of stuff. GIMP is the one. Documents. Now, guys, this one is um, the only thing I added was Open Office. To be honest, Open Office is pretty good. I prefer Microsoft Word, but of course, not all computers come with it, and you don't necessarily want to pay for it. So, if you have Word, I recommend don't install Open Office. But if you don't, Open Office is a good alternative, and that's what I use when I don't have Word. Um, I didn't add anything else in security. That's how much I like uh, Microsoft is security essentials. Spybot, guys. If you were going to add anything, I would add Spybot. That's the only one that I would really recommend. Um, but that's just if you want to be extra cautious like me and run it every once in a while. Not a necessity. Um, we go down to file sharing. uTorrent. Um, guys, if you don't ever do torrents, you know, go ahead and uninstall it. Don't, don't click it. But I like uTorrent because it's got a great interface. It's very, very quick loading. It automatically updates. And it's very secure. So, I mean, if, you're, if you like to do, you know, use torrents, that's definitely the one I'd recommend. Okay, guys, we're getting towards the end. Um, we have Dropbox. I'm going to go ahead and try to keep this a little bit quicker now. Dropbox is a great online and backup. You can file sync. Um, basically, it will allow you to upload a file. You just, as soon as you have it downloaded, you just drop it in the Dropbox file and it goes up to the cloud. Then you can go on a variety of different other computers as well as there's some apps for some things. I believe there's one for the iPhone as well. And you can go ahead and have your files. You have two gigs free and you can have your files anywhere. It's really good. Um, we come down to utilities, image burn. I don't honestly use image burn all that often, but I know a lot of people do. I don't ever really even use disks. I mean, I, I pop in maybe a DVD a year in my computer, so I don't really use it. Um, but occasionally, this does come in uh, really does come in handy, especially if you have you know um, you know Windows XP or Windows Vista. Okay, guys, we're coming down to the last four. I'll go through them really quickly. We have Seven Zip. It's great for compressing files. Um, you know, actually, um, I have another program is called Zypeg that I like to use, but it, they don't have it on here. Um, so you might want to go ahead and check that out. But 7-Zip is pretty decent, and so if you just want to go ahead and just click it, that's no big deal.
And um, then lastly, guys, there's three developer tools. Um, Notepad is really good for coding. Um, it's also a pretty decent, you know, it's a, a, an enhanced version of WordPad, I guess, or if you don't want to use OpenOffice. Um, you have the Java Development Kit. This actually, if you do do OpenOffice, I highly recommend you do that. Um, it helps it out. Sometimes OpenOffice won't work. So, and we have WinSCP. This is mostly if you have a jailbroken like iPhone or iPod, you need to SSH into your you know your device. Then you'll definitely need WinSCP. Otherwise, you might want to go ahead and pass. So yeah, guys, that's it. Of course, the same way, you just go ahead and hit Get Installer, and you go ahead and download whichever programs you chose, and you'll be good. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you uh, you know you appreciate all this kind of stuff. Of course, you guys, feel free, absolutely feel free to mix and match what you want. Um, just check out. The, there will be two links in the description. Check out if you want the basic pack, if you want the advanced pack. And you know, just go ahead and mix and match. I would be highly surprised if any of you guys just pick the standard one and don't customize it at all. Um, so, guys, if you're setting up a new computer, this would be perfect. Even if you're not, even if you've had your computer for, around for a while, go ahead, maybe check out a couple of the apps that you might not have and test them out and everything. You might be surprised. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.